There's no quarterback in college football playing better than the kid at Clemson, Trevor Lawrence. That is. I don't agree with that, uh -oh. but go on. I'll let uh -oh. you keep talking. You, I love whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There. Burrow's okay. You can't run from it. Keep running. There's no running He's back running away. playing better in college football. He's done. And there's oh one defense. God. There's oh. one defense in the country. Oh, gee, did he really just say Wait. that? Come Sit on. down. Let me bring Marcus back. I like this. Stay <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Paul Feinbaum joining us now and your reaction there to what Dan said, kind of similar to what Marcus did yesterday. Here's the thing. I think we know that Burrow's a runaway, but Greeny, what do you want what to ask Paul? What, what was that reaction? Well, listen, I mean, I just am always amazed when Dan makes these uh, mild statements. I remember last year, <laughs> Tua was LeBron James. Now it's, uh, who is Trevor Lawrence? He's either the Kobe I of this generation. Yet. I haven't pegged him yet. I mean, <laughs> I him mean yet. If, you're, if you're asking me to say something nice about Trevor Lawrence, I'm contractually obligated not to say anything good about <laughs> Clemson. But listen, it's a fair conversation. I just didn't see Trevor Lawrence play anyone this year where I could make a value judgment. Uh, the last time I saw him in a, in a competitive game was against the University of North Carolina. Uh, and prior to that, it was Alabama. So, Dan, you're welcome to your opinions. But you're obviously here a lot more than I Doesn't it am. get a little bit stale that we only go, well, he hasn't played the guys that other people have. Everyone knows that. But Everyone man. knows that Clemson has Danny's not faced been playing this. junior college teams all season. I think that's a little extreme. Okay. Um, but <laughs> oh. everyone knows that he hasn't played I disagree, the schedule but that's okay. as, I, I, as Joe Burrow, right? Joe Burrow is the – I was the one five weeks ago he said, run away Heisman, give it to him, and he'll be the number one pick before you were saying it, Paul. And so oh. I think to take the shot at Trevor Lawrence and go like, let's, I just haven't <clears> seen him <throat> play anybody – he dismantled right. Notre Dame and Alabama last year in, in well, the playoff. Uh, I mean, beat him by 27, uh, beat him by 28. Last year. He's never lost. He, he hasn't broken he's a sweat. He's having a better he season. He hasn't broken a sweat in he's four months, He's having a better man. year this year than he had last year. <laughs> Desmond, one game to win. Who are you taking? Let me be the voice of reason. Oh, please. please. Let me be the <laughs> voice of reason. Coming Take it away. this season, the Heisman Trophy was Trevor Lawrence's to lose. Correct. Everyone Absolutely. loved Trevor Lawrence after he dismantled Alabama's yeah. defense. That should tell you how his season has gone so far this year. He's not even a finalist. So to say he's playing better than any quarterback, I think, is just a little far stretched. He is having a fantastic season. There's no doubt about that. The competition is the reason why people – that's why the committee put them in three, okay? Of course. One game to go, though, Laura, to answer your question, mm -hmm. I will have to go with Joe Burrow because okay. Joe Burrow right now is more battle-tested this season. I always like to. Oh my guy. Anyway, and I think that Joe Burrow has a, a level of maturity, too, that when you see him play, he understands not only how to throw accurate balls, but he throws his guys open. He showed a lot of athleticism. He showed how tough he is. He takes some shots mm -hmm. in the SEC. I mean, he takes some big shots, but he bounces right back up. And then that one play late in the game against Georgia, but he had to avoid like three defenders, yeah. rolled to his right, and threw the ball clear across the field to Justin Jefferson to set up another touchdown. To me, that was such a huge moment. Trevor hasn't had to do that this season. Not saying that he can't, but he, does, he doesn't have a highlight like that. I love what Joe Burrow brings yeah, to the table. Again, both things can be true, right? But if I had one game, I'm taking the guy who I've never seen lose. I've never seen Trevor Lawrence lose a football game. I've seen you a couple weeks ago, Paul, you said that you think that the Alabama dynasty is over. Well, he might be the guy who ended it. And then I said this the, no, I, yesterday. I, 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 listen, I don't mean to be a lawyer here, but I, I think I said the window is closing. But why, why let this, facts but in the way of this a is why. conversation on But this is why. I mean, I think that Trevor Lawrence makes <laughs> throws. He can make throws that other guys can't. I mean, these are window throws that you have to have a unique arm strength, okay. unique vision Good. to make those throws. Break the tie, okay. Greeny, please. No, you break the tie. Yeah. Your name's yeah. on the screen, okay. not mine. He got I'm with Desmond. Joe, Joe Burrow <laughs> is, the, is football. The Heisman finalists were announced on Monday. You see him there. Burrow, Fields, Young, and Hurts. And these Heisman finalists are fascinating. As expected, Joe Burrow among them. The Bayou Bengal looking to join Billy Cannon as the only Heisman winners in LSU history. At the other end of the spectrum, it's Ohio State. State and Justin Fields looking to become the eighth winner in Buckeyes history, which would move them past Oklahoma and Notre Dame for most all time. And so is Chase Young, also from Ohio State, became the fourth D lineman ever to be invited to New York for the Heisman ceremony. He's been dynamic this year. And Jalen Hurts, 
continued a recent trend as Oklahoma has now had a quarterback as a Heisman finalist in four straight years. That's the first time that's happened for any school. Now, Burrow's season, as we do expect him to win it, has been one for the ages. He's poised to break Colt McCoy's single-season completion percentage record, and he's already made SEC history with the most passing touchdowns and yards in a single season. It seems for the second straight year we may get a guy that no one had ever even heard of or thought about before the season began who winds up the number one pick in the draft. And that brings in this man. There he is. Mel Kuyper Jr. is ready to go this morning. Mm -hmm. So now Joe Burrow has the SEC championship. Mm -hmm. He has one or maybe two games left to go. Where do you see him at this stage of the evaluation as we start looking ahead all the way to April? Greeny is a clear-cut number one pick overall, and uh, that's because of the great year he had off the heel on the heels of a so-so uh, uh, fourth-year junior season. That's why he was kind of off the radar as far as, as far as the first round is concerned. Maybe even the second round with a lot of people going into the year, and it's the third straight year we have had a guy come out of relatively nowhere in terms of the first-round discussion in Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray, and now Joe Burrow. Think about last year, uh, Greeny. 57% or less in eight games. He was at 45% in two games completion percentage. Okay, this year, he's been over 71% in every game. He's been at 78% or more, 79% or more in six games. Okay, last year, he had zero games of that. So it is a huge difference from 57% and change to 78%. From 16 touchdown passes to 48 that's the reason, Greeny, he went from a guy people were thinking third, fourth round to the number one pick overall for a fifth-year senior. When did you ever think you'd see a fifth-year senior quarterback uh, in this day and age? You didn't think you'd see it, but we have it now in Joe Burrow as maybe the number one pick, or I should say as the number one pick overall. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.